You fall in love because you do fun things together. I mean, that's how we fall in love. And Karen and I remember when we started dating, we were not sexual. And so, in fact, we didn't, I, I, I say, we, Karen and I didn't kiss until the 11th day. Karen says it's the seventh because she was a lot more aggressive than me. But it, it was the 11th date before we kissed for the first time. But what I remember about dating Karen is how much fun it was. You, we, we fell in love finding fun stuff to do and going to do it. And that's how you, you, you stay in love. You stay in love by having fun. You, if you're not having fun in your marriage, you're in danger. If you're not laughing together, and let me tell you what I believe, people are at their best when they're having fun. Every, every person is at their very, very best when they're having fun. And so you want to have fun together. Now this is uh, USA Today, July 16, 2008. And this is research from uh, Howard Markman, who is with the, uh, so he's a psychologist and co-directs the University of Denver Center for Marital and Family Studies. Here's what he says. The more you invest in fun and friendship and being there for your partner, the happier the relationship will get over time. The correlation between fun and marital happiness is significant. So what they're saying is they've done a lot of studying on marriages and you cannot separate fun from a good marriage. It's, it's, it's part and parcel. This is Thomas Bradbury from the University of California. He said, people in happy relationships generate fun activities and as they keep generating these activities, it keeps their relationship strong and healthy and fresh. People in happy relationships generate fun activities. It's one of the most important things you do is to work at having fun.